Hey, Jack Squad. How's everybody doing? Hope all is well, and I hope you're making it happen for yourself. You got to make it happen for yourself. Um, everyone, please uh, like, share, comment, subscribe. Uh, all of my social media information is down in the description box, as well as my email and my cash app. You want to donate to my channel? Please do. I still have and always will have t-shirts, um, $20. Uh, you email me your name, address, size, and color, and then I'll email you back your um, uh, shipping and handling, and then you cash at me your balance, okay? So today, y'all, happy Monday. Today, um, <clears throat> I'm talking about poor little Krishan rock and blue face um if 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 toxic relationships like it's a lot of tox toxic relationships that we're seeing on social media out in the open in the public it's a lot of them all around but we're seeing them and it's now to me too much but it's looking like the norm right now initially when i saw this yesterday i said okay i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna commentate on that you know um i'm gonna commentate on that then today I see that she has retracted it. See, this is the cycle of abuse, right? The abuser abuses you, and then you take the abuser, the abused takes the blame for the abuser, right? It's a whole cycle, right? Now, when I saw it yesterday, he bust her lip, blacked her eye. Like, you got to be tough taking them type of hits, right? Like, and, and I still love you? You didn't hit me like it's something wrong in the mind for someone to hurt you. You know, if somebody step on your toe or y'all have a little scruffle, but somebody to just bust your lip, with, do, just do this to you, the woman that you're supposed to love, and you think he loved you and he did this, punched her and uh, punched her. You know what I'm saying? Now, she says she was trying to get out the car, you know, and I listened to the video, and she said she was just texting a boy. See, this is what I don't understand. Either you with him or you're not. You can't play with dude. Young ladies, you can't play with men, right? Uh, black men, when I'm talking about men, I'm talking about black men because I don't know nothing about no other kind of man. Black men don't take well to someone being f with their girl. They don't. They just don't, right? Um, and so um, they were in a car, and she was trying to get out of the car. Now, I don't know if the car was moving or what, which is crazy if it was. Trying to get out of the car. And then he grabbed her and punched her in the eye, punched her in the nose and ruffled her up and did whatever else he did to her, right? Okay, and she said she was just texting the boy. Now, he's a knocked out your tooth. If they're saying in the comments he's knocked out more teeth. He's knocked out a tooth. That right there, I'm going to get all my family and friends. We're going to jump you and I ain't messing with you. No more, right? I'm getting everybody I know. Pookie, Ray Ray, Tink Tink, Shakita, my mama now, my brothers. I'm getting everybody, and then we're going to jump you. And we might jump you a couple times, right? So you get the message. Don't put your hands on me no more, right? I don't understand. And now what he's going to do to her, and I thought about it today, is he's going to beat her down. She ain't going to look good. In a minute, she ain't going to have, she, her beauty will be gone. He's going to beat her beauty out of it, right? Um, I've seen that lots of times. A man beats you down. He beats you down because when he's hitting you, when there's domestic violence, he's not only beating your body, he's beating your soul, right? So uh, he's, he's he beat her up. He beat her up. Okay. He beat her up. And she was crying and she was still with him. See, the problem also is she's linked to him financially. I don't know what she would have to do because she signed to him. Get a lawyer. How how do you get out of that? Because he's got you. He get your money and he, he like he own you kind of sort of feel like right. Um, how do you get out of that situation and still get your money? Because everybody know who he is. But what type of contract is she under? Right. So you under a contract and he having sex with you and he just having his way with you. He just having his way. He gonna do what he want to do because he said it before. His baby mamas. He got access to them and anybody else he want to be with. But any woman, any young woman at this point who sees this toxicity and fool with him, even though I know some are, because people like the fame and the fortune and the, and the, and the notoriety. 
Know that he's going to do that to you. He ain't just doing it to her. It's going to spin around to you too if you mess with him long enough, right? Because let's say she's gone. He's got to do that to somebody. Listen, this is such a toxic, terrible, tragic relationship, right? That's what it is, a relationship. That's what you want to call it, right? Now, uh, then today I see that she has, she's blaming herself. She takes it back what she said. She takes all of that back. You want to know why she took it back? Because they've had a conversation and she's, this is establishing going back to him and y'all being together. Like, I don't know how often they fight, but it's too often for me. And I don't even know these people, right? Um, I think, like I, I said last week or so, uh, the first sign of uh, physical abuse, you must leave because it'll happen again. If it ain't remember 10 years from now, it'll happen again. And the next time will be worse than the last time. Um, so she's reversing, taking back her claims of an attack at the hands of Blueface and saying she was on a bad trip. She was on a bad trip. And that he actually rescued her. Lord have mercy. So he was on a bad trip. Just say you was on a bad trip. You was high. You was drunk. You was whatever. How, you, how your lip get bust? How your eye get black? How that happen? Right? Um, she said she blacked out, which could be true when you drink too much alcohol, do too much whatever it is you're doing, and was trying to jump out of the car on the highway. Oh, they was on the highway. Lord have mercy. And that blue face was pulling her back into safety. She also says she was the one hitting him. In other words, she's completely changed her tune on what happened here. So if she was hitting him, which I don't doubt that she wasn't, where's his black eye? Where's his busted lip? Where's any marks on him? First of all, he's a man. So he can whoop her at any time without too much effort, right? Uh... Now, people are saying this echoes of Rihanna and Chris Brown. I, I don't know if there's if this situation was this bad. Okay, so on her IG Live, and this is what I be wanting to know. Why everybody got to put everything on live? Why must it go live? We see it, and you tell us what's happening, and then the next day or so, after you get your mind right, you decide you that ain't what, ha that ain't what happened. You don't want everybody to know that. Um, she's breaking down, complaining uh, about after the altercation. And he bloodied her. So she never pointed the camera at him. Now, you can hear somebody faintly in the background talking. So... And so she's doing a lot of crying. See, the, the first, that raw emotion, that first raw emotion, that's what it is, right? She was crying. She was hurt. She said, you keep on doing this. Like, what makes you, what, how low do your self-esteem have to be? How much self-hatred or not knowing your value must you have to allow this to go on repetitively, Right? Um, and he hit her because she was texting a guy. Now, this is the thing. If you with your guy, why are you texting another guy? Not saying that he has a right to hit her, but why irritate or agitate or instigate a situation? Why do that? Is that how she gets attention? Because that just came in my head. Maybe this is how she gets attention from him. Maybe that's what that is. Because why would you do that? Okay. So then people are saying that she's suicidal. I don't think she's suicidal. I think she's just on a crash course of uh, on a on a self sabotaging crash course. She doesn't exactly know her worth. She's young. She doesn't know her worth. And she doesn't understand or doesn't know the repercussions of what she's doing, especially towards her career or any other future endeavor she may have with a man, whether it be with a man or her career or whatever, right? Because nobody with good sense is one of food with a toxic individual. Now, she may attract another toxic individual, but somebody that's really going to be good to you and good for you, I don't see them 
being attracted to you, right? Uh, so she had a busted lip, a bloody nose, and a black eye. Wow. Busted lip, black eye, and bloody nose. That's You, you hit me at least uh, two, three times, right? Hmm. There were no police reports. Wow. And then they were having a, a Twitter beef. This is so immature and so toxic and so ridiculous, right? Yeah, she did keep calling her weird, but you're weird for allowing this, right? And I know she got a dad, she got, I think she got a mom, like, got a sister, I believe, like, but she's not going to listen to anybody at this age, in this stage of what she's in. She's engulfed in the toxicity now. It's all over her. She's engulfed in the, in the ridiculous behavior, right? Um, and at some point, I think that she may think that this is love. And her fans, I keep telling her to leave, but she's not going to leave till she's ready to leave. No. Yeah. And people are saying she's on a dangerous life path. Absolutely. So she's on a dangerous life path because she can stay with him for years. And like I said, if, if she does, she will be so beat down in from the inside. So beat down. She'll lose her looks. You know, because the fact that you knocked my tooth out, my teeth, tooth, whatever, that's too much. That's way too much. That's why daddy can't come to the rescue. But see, people are not going to come to your rescue if you're going to stay with them, right? So if you're going to stay with them, you got to take all the males that you, he going to give because this is what you chose to do. This is her choice at this point, y'all. This is her choice to be with a man that is abusive to her, whether he was wrestling her back in the car whether he, she tried to jump out and he grabbed her, you know, or whatever story she wanted to tell, the fact remains, you have a busted lip, bloody nose, and a black eye. That's like a, you, you an MMA fighter? You been in, a, in the ring? That's what, that's what happens when you're getting paid for stuff like that. Like, this don't make no sense. And if I was her, I would get me a lawyer and see how to get out of that contract with him and, what do, and how do I legally get away from him. That's what I would do. How do you legally get away from him? Because I think if you get out of the contract, if she gets out of the contract, I don't know, but if she gets out of the contract, then she has a, you know, a chance of getting out of the relationship. I don't know, though. This is just so stupid, right? And it's so sad. Now, I keep hearing that they're going to have a reality show, and it'll probably be on Zeus. Now, uh, Lizzo's Halloween costume was of Krishan, I guess, looking battered, and no people didn't like it, right? And they said that was wrong for a mainstream celebrity to do. Um, and so they're also saying that the fact that they're going to have a reality show showing all this toxicity is the wrong thing to do as well, which I agree with that. I agree with that as well. Um, listen, y'all, this is a young lady. And I wonder, like, you know, for me, you hit me and you beat me. You didn't beat me for real. Now, how do I lay down with you and we just have a good conversation? You know, how how you do that, right? Without all that, because if you do anything to me, it keeps coming up in my, it keeps me playing in my head. So I can't forget it, right? Um, yeah, like, this is, uh, I'm sad. And uh, more stuff is probably going to happen until she decides to leave, right? And but she's got to get out of because he has all her money or something. See, like I heard her say something like that in the video, right? I gotta listen to it again. But I wonder if does he have control of her money? Because it seems like <clears throat> he has control of her money, which is something all the way, all the way uh, different, uh, all the way 
difficult to get out of if he has control. I know she's signed to him and all like that, but if he controlling what she gets and how much she gets and when he give it to, like, I don't know what that is. But I hope that's not the case, but it seems like it's the case. I can't imagine somebody beating on you, you signed to them, you having sex with them, they doing you and abusing you any all kind of way, and then you get to have all the money you want. Because she needs to get away from him. And the, and the first key to that is to have your own money and go on about your business. Or, I don't see, I don't know how those contracts work. How, how, is she able to get out of that? You know, and she's obligated. What are her obligations are to him? financially, business-wise, right? Um, but she's some, you, she got to get some help. She's got to get some help. She's got to, she in the industry, she's in the business, people know her. I think if she was to really say, I need some help, I'm willing to do the work and what it takes, someone will come to her aid. I believe that, right? But she, but people are not going to put themselves in the line of fire when you're not ready to really be helped, right? That's, that's the problem. Um, I don't know. I just know if a dude hit me in my eye, I'm telling y'all, if a dude hit me in my eye anywhere, but if he hit me, if he black my eye, bust my nose and my lip, listen, I got sons, right? I got sons and my sons got friends that love me like a mama. I got cousins. I got brothers. I got sisters. I got girlfriends, right? We coming. I'm going to grab up. I'm going I'm to round up the posse that's going to come and we coming. We coming. I just can't, why well, you let this man, but I know uh, that women be so in fear, but see, the problem is she has means. You know, a lot of times women are battered. They don't really have the means. They don't have the money. They don't have, they don't scare to tell somebody. It's all out there now. So somebody will help you, but she's got, but what she needs is intense therapy to find out why she's allowing this and why she allowed that and what to do to not do that moving forward, right? Speaking of therapy, y'all, I have my first uh, Zoom therapy session today. I'm so excited. I'm going to get fixed. I'm going to get fixed. But anyway, y'all, this is craziness. And it's playing out for the world to see. Like, wow. You know, the, the, you know, you start, you start off with the, with the teeth. You knocked out a tooth. Now you, you, you just doing everything. You hitting it like a dude. Like, you hitting it like a dude, and if you don't like her, see, this is the part I understand. If you got other women that you mess with, she's under contract. You can still get paid off of her. Why be in a relationship with her? That's the part I don't get. What is it about him that he wants to be in a relationship with her and wants to do this to her? You got access to all the women over there. Why be in a relationship with her? Just, you know, cut that. Because he's going to have to cut that. You know what I'm saying? Just cut that and go about your business, and y'all still work together. Let this be a cautionary tale, ladies. Don't have sex with the person tied up with your, with your, with your, with your money, like who you assigned to. Don't, don't do that. Because that can cause all kinds of problems. He has total control over you, right? Total control. He's already controlled your mind and your body with the sex and whatever else he's doing to you. And he got control of your money. That's a definite no-no, right? So anyway, y'all, hit the like button for me. Uh, subscribe. Um, and... Uh, uh, send me an email if you want to, right? So anyway, y'all, I'm going to talk about, I'm going to upload this video about uh, Charleston White. Like, he's just bananas. And, you know, when I be looking at people and I'm thinking, they, okay, they reach their limit of craziness. And then they do something crazier than they did the day before. Anyway, y'all, I'll uh, see y'all.